Here in Regina, a number of local candidates hit the ground running, door knocking and flipping pancakes at the exhibition. Sarah Krause shares their thoughts on the timing of this election call. The federal election is knocking at your door six weeks earlier than required. I'm your NDP candidate for the federal election that was called today. It doesn't make a difference to this Regina Louvan candidate. For me, it doesn't really have uh, a big effect that the governor general signed a piece of paper today. I'm, um, you know, out knocking on doors the way I would have been anyway. This incumbent is ready to go, too. We'll take the time available uh, to talk to Canadians. He's already been out interacting with voters at the exhibition's pancake breakfast. You've got to make sure you pace yourself through that period of time and don't become an aggravation to voters. Oh, hey, no way. No way. The extra time could benefit first-time candidates. Especially being new to the game and um, not already famous in Regina, like some of my counterparts in the industry, uh, it just gives me more of an opportunity to talk to more people. But the reigning party is coming in confident. Well, I feel strong. I feel like we have a strong record and that as long as people in Saskatchewan are able to get our message, that, uh, that they'll uh, trust us to manage the economy for another four years. The Conservatives are fielding questions about the cost of an extended campaign. The difference now is that instead of being able to charge taxpayers through their parliamentary budgets, they'll have to raise that money themselves and they'll have to get the party supporters to pay for it for them. It is uh, uh, absolutely untrue to say political parties pay the whole shot. There's expenses for Elections Canada to administer the election and now they have to do that for 11 weeks instead of the usual five weeks. At the end of the day, the decision lies with voters and they're on both sides of the coin. Yeah, there's a cost associated with that, but there's a cost associated with lots of worthwhile things, so uh, that doesn't concern me too much. It's more money that we're wasting, in a sense, on it, and is there really a reason for him to be extending the election by that duration of time? Yeah. Not really. Sarah Kraus, Global News. Now, as you heard, the candidates disagree on who will be paying for the longer election. Later in the show, we'll have political scientist Jim Farney break that down for us.